Welcome to Cinemaholics. You're listening to our review of Palmer, which is an excerpt from episode 205 of the Cinemaholics podcast, hosted this week by Abiel Chessy and special guest Kimber Myers. To watch and listen to Cinemaholics every week live, follow us on YouTube. The link is in the description of this review. Enjoy the show. Our next review is uh, a movie that is streaming on Apple TV Plus currently. Uh, it is the Fisher Stevens directed J- Justin Timberlake starring uh, Palmer, which is a domestic kind of, uh, I guess, I guess social, you could say socially conscious, socially conscious domestic drama uh, set in rural Louisiana. Uh, Justin Timberlake plays the uh, titular Eddie Palmer who has recently been released from uh, from jail uh, after a 12-month stint for attempted murder. Uh, he comes back to his hometown to live with his grandmother, played by June Squibb, um, and she has uh, a couple of neighbors who live in a trailer next door. Uh, there's a single mother, uh, played by Juno Temple, and... Uh, so she has a couple of neighbors who live in a trailer next door. There's a single mother who is played by Juno Temple. Her name is Shelly. And Shelly has a young son named Sam, uh, played by writer Alan, who is uh, elementary school aged. And uh, Sam is, uh, he, he displays a lot of evidence of being genderqueer. He, he, uh, he wears, like, enjoys wearing dresses, likes watching uh, girls' TV shows and, and playing with dolls. Um, something that is completely foreign to to Palmer and and something that he he doesn't really know how to deal with. Um, but he has to because eventually uh, Shelley disappears and uh, Sam kind of comes to to live with with uh, Palmer and his grandmother Vivian for a little while while his his mom is AWOL, which apparently is not an uncommon thing. It happens a lot. Um, so in there in in Sam's living with uh with Palmer and Vivian he uh uh Palmer Justin Timberlake's character kind of comes to form a bond with Sam and become kind of protective over him and um in the in the middle of that is is trying to trying to kind of help Sam operate in the world and also his worldview towards his understanding of Sam and um and loving him and accepting who he is, is, is changing as well. Uh, in addition to kind of building relationships with people around him, um, including Sam's teacher, Maggie played by Alicia Wainwright. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of the, the plot that we're dealing with, with Palmer. Um, I think it's, this is a movie that I thought was fine. Um, it's not, it's definitely, uh, I, I enjoyed it better than the little things say. Um, there are parts of it that I think work better than others. I think the relationship between uh, between Timberlake and uh, writer Allen is is really really sweet. I think they do have some genuine chemistry there. Uh, but Kimber, I'm I'm curious to hear what you thought of it. What are your initial thoughts on this? Yeah, I'm maybe a little bit warmer on it than you are, but I I do agree that the best parts are the interaction between. Timberlake and writer Allen. Um, I think I kind of go back and forth on Justin Timberlake as an actor. I think there are some really nice, just small, like almost like fractions of a second moments where he is perfect here. Like there's just like a look or a movement that I think works so well. Um, and they are just, they're really great together. And writer Allen is a, adorable (laughs) he's so cute in this (laughs) it's very it's a very winning performance and he's just it's very sweet and guileless and um yeah i really really like that bit i there are definitely things that that bother me here and i do think that this is not the most uh original of films although i think it does take a slightly different slant on the tropes that we've seen previously um but yeah, I thought that it was, um, I thought it was very watchable and yeah, it might've been coming off of the little things, which was just so grim and poorly made where I was presented with something that is like, I think capably fashioned in, in a lot of ways, but, but also just like so well-intentioned and, and earnest in a way that managed not to grate. Yeah, I, I would agree that, uh, well-intentioned, I think is a good way to, uh, 
to, to, to describe Palmer. I feel like those the, its heart is definitely in the right place. I don't think it really takes many huge missteps in its uh, in its representation of of Sam and his his gender queer identity. I feel like it's very um, open and loving and accepting. And I think it's it's important to note that that Sam doesn't need to change for anybody. It is Palmer, in fact, who changes, which is great. Um, that's that's exactly what that narrative should be. Um, I think there are some elements of it that work a little less well for me. I think Timberlake is is really solid as uh, as sort of a, a small town guy who's trying to rebuild his reputation, but you know is in a small town where everybody knows who he is and what his past is, and he can't really escape it. Um, he's I think he's he's really good in that role, um, and I, I feel like we don't really see Justin Timberlake in in roles like this all that often, but he's pretty good in it. I would be, I would be fine with seeing him do more stuff like this. Um, I think, yeah, it's, he's, he's good in it. Uh, June Squibb is good in it, although I don't think she's in it enough necessarily. Um, the, the issues that I kind of have with it come with its, uh, it, it's sort of turn that it takes into, uh, kind of guardianship and, uh, like, social services territory. Uh, I think Juno Temple's character, Shelley is, uh, she's, she's portrayed as like exactly the kind of character that you would expect. I think in a movie like this, her, her performance is very one note, very screamy, uh, very loud and brash. And, uh, it, I, I feel like not to say that she, that this character necessarily deserves, a ton of charity, but I feel like she deserves a little more than she gets here. Uh, I feel like that, that part of the plot kind of gets a little bit, um, a little bit treacly and, uh, and cliched, but, uh, I mean, fortunately that's just one part of the movie. And I think the other parts that are there work, work just fine. It's not necessarily a, a wildly creative take on, on the story, but I think it's like you said, Kimber, I feel like it's hard is in the right place. And, uh, like for folks who, are looking for something that is a little more um, familiar with notes that they can kind of recognize. I feel like the the uh, the gender queer element of this is enough of a difference for that that it could be kind of construed as like a potentially eye opening moment for for some viewers. Which is, I mean, I feel like that's great. I'm all for that. Yeah, like it's something that I would love to recommend to my parents if they can uh, ever get their. Apple TV plus figured out, (laughs) but, um, yeah, I think that they, there's, there's something here that is progressive while not being threatening. Um, and I think especially with the potential audience that it has, I, I think that there is, is some power there. Um, and I agree. I was not won over by, um, Juno Temple's performance. And normally I think she's great, especially having just, finished um ted lasso where she is one of the best parts of a a great great cast um i also like you took some issue with some of the like social services and guardianship questions and um there's i think some stuff that is not entirely believable around uh the relationship between um, Palmer and Miss Maddie, the the teacher. Um, although I did really like Alicia Wainwright in the role, I thought she was great. Um, but yeah, there's definitely a lot of stuff here that contributes to the film as being like fine to like all right, but not again, not a, a full throated recommendation, but but certainly better than than the other film we're talking about here. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, I'd say, yeah, if we if we get into kind of final thoughts, I when I wrote this up on Crooked Marquee, I was uh, a C plus. I'd say like I'm, I'm in within that range, kind of a high C plus, low B minus on this. Uh, it's 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 pretty much middle of the road. But yeah, if you're if you're looking for kind of a meat and potatoes flick or if you yeah like are looking to recommend something with a slightly more progressive bent to folks who might not otherwise be looking for that kind of content, I feel like. This is this is something that won't necessarily wildly offend people and might potentially kind of worm its way into their into their hearts a little bit, which if that's the case, that's fine. Um, but yeah, I, I agree with you on the uh, the relationship between uh, Palmer and and Miss Maggie that it's it's not I feel like she could do a lot better than him, which is not to be mean to Palmer, <laughs> but it's just 
The woman's got an education degree and like she's clearly pretty enlightened and intelligent living in a town that doesn't appreciate those things. And I I just there are parts of it where I was just like, I understand what you're trying to do, but girl, get away, run, run far. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, I'm like. The fact, too, that, like, there doesn't seem to be much attention paid to the fact, like, I don't know the particular rules of their school district, but I'm betting that it is frowned upon for a teacher to be in a romantic relationship with a child's guardian. And that's, like, there's not much attention paid to that. Like, it's kind of glossed over. And, like, I know that they can't address everything in a film that's an hour and 50 minutes, but it just, it, it did not feel necessary to me. I appreciated that having this relationship for Palmer was important and kind of getting back into who he was. But um, I don't think that she was necessarily the, the right person for that. Um, the other thing though, that I really did like about Timberlake's performance is I feel like he's usually like a bigger character who talks a lot and like thinking about like, other roles that he's played. And this is largely, it's a much quieter role. There's less dialogue. A lot of what he does is nonverbal, which he's not an actor before this, where I would have said that that was one of his strengths, but I was, I was impressed. Yeah, I, I, I would agree. He's, he, he's pretty stoic through a lot of this. And uh, yeah, that's, that's something that's kind of new territory for him. And I feel like that could be an interesting way to see him grow as a performer. Do you have any any thoughts on kind of letter grade range for this? What would you give it? I'd give it, I feel like, um, a B. Like I, I think I'd bump it up from a, a B minus just based on a, a few things. But I, I did, overall, I left it um, feeling good both about like what the film was trying to say, but also I wasn't miserable watching it, which is not clearly not always what, what happens, though. So. For sure. Yeah, this is I I would agree. Yeah, not not miserable. I I, I left it feeling more heartwarmed than anything else. So, yeah. yeah, so that's a kind of B minus ish C plus for me, a solid B for Kimber. And if you want to check out Palmer, you can find it streaming on Apple TV plus. Thank you so much for listening to our show be sure to subscribe to cinemaholics on your favorite podcast app of choice mine is overcast or find us on youtube where you can stream our weekly episodes live for even more banter and weird film takes see you all next time